they have a lot of hair on their skin there very shaggy coat of the striped hyena you can see the stripes on the side of the belly very beautiful hyenas <laughs> African hoopoe. So the African hoopoe looks almost similar to Eurasian hoopoe but it's much darker. The browns are much darker and then they don't have that extra white band on the wing. They have a lot of hair on their skin there. Very shaggy coat of the striped hyena. You can see the stripes on the side of the belly. Very beautiful hyenas. You can see him just through the grass there. So the striped hyena is a very special animal. We don't always find these on safari. It's one of those animals that you just hit or miss. It's a lucky find for sure. laughing dove sitting in the cold but with the morning sun just shining on his front there and here we have a superb starling still in the same golden light of the morning very pretty bird this is an adult with that characteristic white eye you can see the superb starling with that beautiful light and when he flicked his wings they could see a bit of white under the wings and also a bit of white under the tail and that white band across the chest very beautiful styling. So here we found a very interesting species, the Pangani longclaw. And you can see there are two individuals. There's this one in the front. Then behind him there's another one here. And the characteristic features we are looking at is a bit of orange at the base of the throat. Where it merges with the black bib. And then the flanks, the sides of the belly are very white. With some nice tricking. A reticulated giraffe just walking across the horizon watching the entire savanna and now they belong to a species of giraffe that has been split so we have four species of giraffe now recognized and this is one of the groups that is recognized so here we have a greater honey guide one of the species that's known to assist humans to look for honey and they usually make a nice sweet song that attracts the people and then you can follow it nicely and it will take you to the beehive. Once you harvest your honey, you give it a few combs just as a reward and then next time it will remind you where the next honey is. So here we are looking at a tony eagle. This is the commonest eagle in East Africa. It's the commonest of our brown eagles and true eagles. So true eagles belong in the genus Aquila and they have feathers on their legs going all the way to the end of the legs near the claws where the claws start. And he's just warming up in the morning there. You can see the very typical heavy bill. It's a nice way to know it's a tony eagle. Most of these brown eagles can be confusing so size and shape is more important than color. And when you come across other brown eagles, you can start comparing the shapes and the sizes and you see there is a bit of a difference in every group. So the tony eagle is being attacked by black-shouldered kites. The African black-shouldered kites are three of them and they are all attacking the eagle here in a characteristic behavior we call mobbing. So small birds of prey can mob big birds of prey trying to beat them up. And you can hear them screaming. Whoa! <laughs> Amazing! So 
So the African black shoulder kites have left. One more is coming back. Wait for it. There he goes. Attack. <laughs> Another round. <laughs> and the eagle is struggling. This is amazing behavior we are observing here. Really interesting behavior. Look at that. It's really fast attacks. So there's three African black shouldered kites attacking in repeated rhythm. There he goes again. So that was really a nice interactions to see the Tony Eagle being attacked by those three African black shouldered kites. The lilac breasted roller. Very beautiful roller. Just look at the beauty of that foxy lark. Beautiful brown on the back and the wings. And you look at the primary feathers, they are a little bit more rufous brown than the rest of the wing. And then the very pale whitish, starting from the throat down through the belly, it's very pale. And a white supercilium just above the eye. And he's singing very nicely. They have this typical behavior of singing on tops of bushes. Great Akudu. So we are looking at a young male here and some females. There's no adult male. The male adults have very nice pyro horns. So we have a yellow billed ox pecker that has just come on top of this crater kudu. Such a beautiful bird. Bright, very colorful, bicolored bill. So bicolored means two colors. The base of the bill is yellow and the tip is red. Very nice to see yellow billed ox peckers super beautiful antelope the kudu here comes another individual crossing the road so here we have one of the highlights of the morning the gray-headed kingfisher one of the most beautiful kingfishers we have and now they are sitting next to a river but they are not purely dependent on water because they don't like hunting fish a lot, they are more woodland kingfishers whereby they will hunt for insects in the bush. But these two individuals are sitting just next to the river here and it might be just a beautiful source of uh, catching insects. Here we have an adult male purple grenadier, one of the small seed-eating birds in the waxbill family. Very pretty bird, look at that. The beak looks like it's been oiled in some beautiful wax. And those blue patches around the eyes. Very beautiful. Purple grenadier. One of the most beautiful small birds we have. And here we have a female, if I can show you. It's still a very beautiful bird, even the female. We were just looking at a female earlier, but now we are looking at this young individual. And here we have some olive baboons sitting on tops of trees. So olive baboons will sleep on trees and then in the morning they sit up to just warm up in the morning sun. And once they are warm enough, they'll start feeding. So they do this characteristic warming as a family. So there's a lot of them sitting on these trees here. But this one is really looking at us nicely. This is probably one of the dominant males of the group and uh, groups of baboons are called troops but some people also use the word family for most of the primates and uh, olive baboons is one of our strongest baboons here in east africa and on top of this yellow backed acacia we have a hill guts vervet with that typical black face the hill guts vervet it's one of the common savanna monkeys we have here in East Africa. But typically much smaller than a baboon. Really smaller than a baboon. The hill gets velvet. You can see him feeding on the plants matter there, the flowers and the leaves of the acacia tree. And just at the edge of this rocky cliff we found a very beautiful yellow necked sparfowl enjoying the morning light. He looks very nice on top of the rock there. So we have just come across this beautiful emerald spotted wood dove. 
here we have a common drongo enjoying the sun sometimes it's called foctail drongo because of the shape of the tail in the forked tail with that inverted V so here we've found a nice brown snake eagle snake eagles have those forward facing eyes looking like almost they have an owl face and we know it's a brown snake eagle because of the brown uh, feathers the legs are a bit whitish and usually they don't have feathers on the uh, part of the leg that we call the tussus towards the end of the legs and they have a typical yellowish orange eye nice bird the brown snake eagle So here we've just come across a nice buffalo male coming to drink at the Wasonyiro River. So buffaloes are very strong and powerful. And when you see a solitary one like this, most of the time they are males. Females don't like to stay alone. They will most of the time stick with the herd together with the young ones. But sometimes males can be found alone or in small groups of typical males. So really nice to see him drinking water there. And buffaloes are water dependent. So lots of the time they need to drink water at a good frequency. They cannot survive for a long time without water, just like domestic cows. You can see the nice male buffalo. This is the same male buffalo we had earlier, just walking through the bushes. Here we have a pair of striped kingfishers. One of the most beautiful kingfishers. You can see the typical black band, the black line going across the face to the back of the head. And this is also a woodland kingfisher. They don't depend on rivers to hunt for fish. Most of the time they're in the woodlands looking for insects. So up here we have a nice ogre buzzard. This is the white moth. There he's flying off. We've come back to the same spot with the lilac breasted roller and we found two individuals but one individual left. The first individual left just before we stopped the car and this one was left on the same patch enjoying. You can see all those bright colors, very beautiful bird. So the lilac breasted roller is arguably one of the most beautiful birds we have here in East Africa. And many people on safari will want to stop and look at it, even if they are not typical bird watchers. So it's one of those species that attracts even the person who is really considered as a casual birder. So you might be coming on a safari to look for lions and other mammals, but you end up looking at a lilac breasted roller as well. Beautiful Gunther's dick dick. You can see that big nose. They use it for cooling sometimes. So they are able to survive in very hot areas. You can see the very tiny legs, looking almost like a hair. He's hiding just behind a stick there. So there is another individual behind and to the right. If you look at the right corner of the frame, you can see the ears popping from above the rock. Very nice animals. Here we have a nice male Kenya red-headed Rokagama, one of the most beautiful lizards. You can see he has a red head and a very dark blue body all the way to the tail. So dominant males have brighter colors than those that are not dominant and they sit on top of exposed rocks to intimidate the others and to show off. So this is likely to be a dominant male. And here we have a female, you can see it looks different from the male with those red patches at the base of the legs and spots on the back but generally it's a brown animal. 